it's got these um, tiny yellow flowers, very small, um, opposite leaves. It's an invasive plant that packs a painful punch to any human or animal that's unlucky enough to step on it. Puncture vine has taken over some towns in the South Okanagan and now it's spreading northward to Penticton and Summerland. And this is the perfect time of year to get rid of it if you spot it. Puncture vine isn't a strong competitor but what it does is it takes advantage of areas where we have disturbed soils and then we haven't planted anything. That means roadsides, gravel areas and even beaches. The spines on the seed pod, they can poke right into through sandals and, uh, and go into your feet, they can go into your hands. So you can imagine walking barefoot on a beach or having your children playing at a playground um, and having the seed pods stick into them. But it'll also go into the paws of dogs or into the mouths of grazing animals. Luckily, it's quick to get rid of, especially if you nab it before the seed pods burst. You want to dig it out, um, use gloves of course so you don't hurt yourself, and put it into a, a bag and make sure that it's taken to the landfill where it's going to get properly disposed of. We don't want it to go into yard waste bins or into compost. And keep an eye out for new sprouts next spring when hidden seeds might start to grow. Whenever people are doing new projects on their property and they're importing gravel, fill, uh, topsoil mulch, it's important to be aware. Scott says she's already well aware of the infestation in communities like Oliver and Osuyas, but anyone further north like Penticton or Summerland that spots the plant should give her a call. The Similkameen Valley as well because uh, having citizens report in on new locations that we don't get to is very important. Chelsea Powery, Castanet News, Summerland.